Yeah, good morning. So, what was your name? My name is Sri Lakshmi, sir. Okay, Sri Lakshmi. So, can I have your resume? Yes. Okay, Sri Lakshmi. So, quickly introduce about yourself. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Sri Lakshmi Tirvai Peta. I was born and brought up in Kamlapuram, which is located in Mulgur district, Telangana state. Currently, I am staying in Hyderabad. Coming to my education background, I recently completed my Bachelor's of Technology in Electronics and Communication Engineering at Kakatiya University, Varangal with aggregate of 8%. And my, I completed my Plus 1 and Plus 2 in Pratibha Junior College, Hanmakonda with an aggregate of 92.4%. I completed my SSC in God High School, Madina with an aggregate of 92%. Okay, then it's good. Okay, so you have not mentioned about your technical skills? Uh, yes, sir. I, I am recently learning Python full stack development, sir. Okay, so what are the tools you are lo learning in your Python course? HTML, Django, CSS, Python, ReactJS, Angular. Okay, then. good. Okay, that, uh, so your programming language you have selected is Python. Yes, sir. Right? So can I go in uh, my interview with Python questions? Uh, sure, sir. Okay, so don't worry, so I will go with somewhat some easy to ask, hard will go with. Okay. okay, then, so why Python is called Intermediate Programming Language? In Python, Python runs the statements in line by line, executes in line by line. Uh, Python directly... It's an exe, it was executed with line. interpreter. Uh, okay, just the execution engine is interpreter, line. it was executed with the... Line by line, like uh, JavaScript, Ruby. Python is also an interpreter language. It, it, it takes the source directly from the source code, not an intermediate compiler. Okay. So, without any interpreted file execute, uh, obtaining, so it will execute directly from, so running to output. Okay. That's what? Yes, so, that's why. So, what is the execution engine in Python? Interpreter. Sir. Interpreter. Okay, then. So, do you know anything about Python comments? Yeah, yes, sir. So, uh, explain something about Python comments. In Python comments, it, these are right in the code, but interpreter does not execute when the running of the executing the code. It is only for user understandable. That's it, sir. For user understandable. Mm -hmm. So, what type of comments we are having in Python? Mm -hmm. Hash. Hash. Uh, Few more. Mm, by when we are you uh, triple quotes. Triple quotes. Mm -hmm. okay. Both of single triple quotes and double mm -hmm. triple quotes. Then. Okay, so for triple double quotes. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, so uh, how the management of memory management will go on with Python? So do you know anything about it? Yeah, sir. So in Python, it use private speed space. Usually, its uh, data data structures or objects are stored in the heap space. Uh, no one can access. Even programmers also does not access the private space. It, it all um, take care of the interpreter. Basically, Python has inbuilt garbage collector. Uh, it removes the all unused data, so it gives a free space to the private heap space. We can manage in Python like this. Okay. That means uh, does does Python having uh, few, uh, like many more memory, memory space like Java like Java is having like stakes and all. Does Python is having some mem that memory mm -hmm. that kind of memory blocks? No, sir. Only it is having mm -hmm. one private automatic heap private heap heap area. Okay, that yes, means sir. heap memory block. That's what. It's good. Okay. Uh, so do you, do you know anything about uh, looping statements? Yeah, so, what is the purpose of looping statements? For code reusability. For code reusability? Uh, to decrease the lines, memory, to decrease the memory. Okay. So, what type of looping statements we are having? For loop, while loop. For loop, while, while loop. loop. Okay. So, that uh, you are known about the loops, right? That means, so you are also known about some jumping statements. Yeah. So, what is the purpose of jumping statements? Purpose of jumping statements to exiting or uh, um, stop the iteration whenever we are by yes. using some specific conditions. Yeah, at some specific condition, then we will st we, if you are needed to stop the iterations, that means yeah. right, madam, you have mentioned the curve two, it's iterations. So, the iterations. So, what type of jumping statements we are having? Return, break, and continue, sir. Break, continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, return. That's true. Okay. So, uh, can you mention me the difference between uh, condition statements and looping statements? Condition statements, it have some conditions. Uh, like uh, when it is is equal to is equal to means do something. But 
But looping statements when condition is true, it can run the program. It the program. program. It will iterate the program. That means, so how can you say this answer means? So the condition statements will execute the code if the condition is satisfied. Otherwise, the code code won't get executed. But whereas coming to the looping statements, okay, it will execute the code into n number of iterations or n number of times until and unless the condition is getting satisfied for n number of times. That's what the difference. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, so then, uh, is there any input functions in Python? Yes, sir. So what is the purpose of input functions? Input function, we can take uh, input from the users. Input from the user. Mm -hmm. So how can you take the input from the user? How can you take the input from the users? Okay, on which format you will uh, you will get access with the input functions? Input function. Input. Okay, it's a, a predefined one. That's what that's there. Okay, actually, I was I was I have shared the answer, and I was asking again you that whether you are confident or not. Okay, now. so input function is so it's a predefined function which is used for taking values from the users for our programming necessities. It's what a perfect answer you need to throw in. Okay, then. So, uh, do you know anything about data types? So, can you mention the definition for data type? Data types are sequential number data types. Okay. Uh, okay, then good. So, what are the sequential type of data we are having? List, tuple, sets. List, tuple, tuple. sets. Okay, then. Can you differentiate uh, list and tuple? List are uh, heterogeneous data types. Uh, both list and tuple are sequential data types. But uh, lists are mutable. But in tuple, we cannot mutable the uh, elements in the in the sequence. It can it takes the more space compared to the uh, tuple. It allows the duplicates. Both are allows the duplicates. That's it. Sir. Okay, you said uh, lists and tuples are both uh, uh, list is a mutable and uh, tuple is immutable, mutable. right? So what is that mutable and immutable means? Mutable. We can change the. We can change. Uh, do specific operations like inserting and deleting, but in tuple we cannot do. Only at the time of declaring we should done. Okay then. So that means for making of manipulation operation mm -hmm. inside then. So you have not mentioned about representations. Uh, it, a um, list are represented with uh, square brackets, and tuple are represented in between the parentheses. Parentheses. So what is the purpose of representation? To separate from the other uh, data types, which are for not confuse the programmers, we are represented in uh, uh, for not the programmers for the execution needs because you, you said you mentioned some points right before some properties of list and tuple right okay so if that particular property has to be assigned for that particular type of data so how the interpreter will get an acknowledge about which kind of data you have presented means so after seeing that representation if it sees the square bracket representation it will identify it as a list if it sees the parentheses it will identify it as a tuple and uh, after it is identifying the properties which are which are already there for that uh, type of data will be assigned for that uh, data we are present clear so then uh, you said uh, sequential type of data are uh, tuple list set so then what is the type of data is the string sequence of characters is it, isn't it a sequential type of data yeah yes sir then why didn't you mention that okay good okay. so so uh, tell me something about string string is a sequence of characters it represented in Single or double or triple quotes. Sir. You should not man. Uh, mute, it, it is a unmutable. Immutable. Immutable. Okay. So then, so can you say, uh, tell me some predefined functions you know in Python? Predefined function input. Input. Uh, input print. Uh, print. And def. Def. Okay, def is not a uh, predefined function. It is a keyword. Uh, okay. So as you mentioned def, so I, I said keyword. So what is keyword? Keyword key, in Python keyword has some reserved words. We should not use uh, these keywords in any other place like identifiers, variables. It help uh, special meanings and purposes in the code. Okay. There are some uh, assigned particular predefined tasks. Okay. So if you use uh, pre keyword for the uh, user defined actions. So, what was the result we are getting? Error. 
Okay, error. So who will erase error? Me. Yeah. Who erases error? Interpreter. Interpreter. That's what. Okay, no. That's what. Because why interpreter erases error? Because it uh, runs line by line. Because the Python entire source code of Python is executed by the interpreter. The because the execution engine of Python is interpreter. That's what. Okay. So uh, as you said, def. I will go with the def thing. So what is def? Is uh, uh, why def is used? In functions, we use the def keyword. To declare a function. Mm -hmm. Then what is a function? Function is a block of code. Uh, if you use block of code, we uh, it reduces the reusability of code again and again. Reusability. So when the function will get executed? When we call the function. How will you call the function? By us, um, by using um, the function name. When we first def and write def and function name. That function name we call by. Uh, with the help of at the time of function declaration, we present a user defined word for the function. Okay, using of that function name, we will call the function. So if we are not calling the function, it whether it will execute or not. Why? Try try some answer about it. Because you have written a block of code inside a function. Until unless nothing but we have a lock of the block of code in a box. Until unless the box get opens. So it, the code, uh, the code won't get out from the box. That's what, that's what reason. Okay. Until and unless you call the function, it won't get executed. Okay. So then, so what should I ask you? Okay. So tell me something about typecasting. Type typecasting, we can convert any type of data into other type. For some, it is applicable for some only. Uh, if we convert a string into, uh, no, into data type to string. But we cannot convert the string into int like that. Why can't we convert string into int? If, if the string, if the, uh, for example, 20 is the data which was uh, encoded in between quotations. So I can convert into integer, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's what you, uh, what is thing you need to say is any type of data can be converted into string, but all string type of data cannot, can, cannot be converted into any other particular type of data. Okay. In other words, so what we use for uh, type casting? Converting the data. What we use? Type. Typecast operators. Typecast operators. Okay, you are saying type. So, do you need anything about the functionality of type function? Functionality. Type function. What the type function will do in Python? It, it converts the one type of data into another type. No, no, I was asking about type function. Type function. Are you aware about the type function? Okay, then leave it. So, can you uh, say some operators in Python? Uh, it's a relational operator, membership operators, assignment operators, bitwise operators, logical operators. Okay, logical operators. Okay, what was your favorite operator? Relational operator. Relational operator. Why it was easy, right? <laughs> okay, good. So then, so do you know anything about uh, scope of variables? Uh -huh. So what is uh, scope of variable means? In Python? We declare some variables in local or globally. Local means uh, define in particular in the block, sub, uh, specific block only. Global means uh, define at the uh, starting and it will use the entire code. We can use anywhere in the code. But local variables are used only in a specific block only. Sir. So does the local variables have a, a global approach in the programming? Local variables are having global approach in the programming. Have you got my question? Does the local variables got a global approach? That means can you can we call the local variables at any any point of time in the programming? No, sir. Why? It will use local uh, as, as we declare them in say in at a block of code. Okay, we will you should use them inside that block of code. Okay, it can't be access out of that block. Okay, so. Uh, the Python is a is a Python is scripting language or object oriented programming language. Python is a scripting language, but it supports object oriented programming language. How can you say it supports object oriented programming language? Uh, it's, uh, it, uh, we can use um, class and objects, polymorphism, inheritance. So these are concepts in OOPs. So we can say, but uh, saying that these are support object oriented programming language. 
that means so even it was it's a hybrid programming language actually that means it is not a oops language but it supports the oops languages but concepts like uh, class and object format okay as python is a dynamic programming language the code will be dynamic but uh, so yeah, it supports oops also so we can write the entire code in class and we can we can access that code in with the help of object that was class and object means so inheritance you, you mentioned so what is inheritance inheritance we can take the properties from one class to another child parent to child okay so sri lakshmi right okay sri lakshmi so it was something impressive so i you have mentioned all, uh, almost of all the questions that i have told about you were on you okay so i was done with my part so are you having any questions yes sir so okay you can ask me freely can you tell about my performance so do you wanted to have a review about your performance no? okay then okay, it was something like so you were uh, presenting a good answers but the conference level is somewhat weaker okay so you need to improve about your con conference levels and uh, so you need to go with like uh, so you were uh, mentioning a like single shape single slide statements but you need to go in somewhat explanation format okay? and uh, so be confident Okay. Even though if you know the uh, answer, be confident. If you don't know the answer, be more confident than that before thing. Okay. So then, okay. So it was completed with my part. Okay. Then uh, HR will follow up you. Okay. All the best.